Okay, pretty bad. Orcs 300 TV down. Just talking in the Twitch chat about how there's some real bad matchups open up now, and this is one of them. Um, do get Borak, which is okay. For 13 men, he's only got 11. Uh, but conversely, it means he's TV efficient. 647, so that's nice. Um, he's got Panning on without Mighty Blow. He's got three guards. Okay, he's got a Mr. Throw with block and pass block. That's nice. And he's got three tacklers. He's got four tacklers. He must have lost to elves sometime. So he's got 80 TV of pure bloat. Well, 100 if you can't pass block. So he's got 100 TV of pure bloat. So that's nice. Um, yeah, this guy hates elves. Uh, yeah, the minor with claw is an option, right? With 230 and then could have a babe. Uh, but it's still a minor at the end of the day. It's shit, isn't it? Borak strength five with block. He's he's just he's great. He's great. I'm happy to take uh, Borak. I mean, could have had like a wizard and an, and an, and, a, and an apple or something. I guess. But Borak makes it thirteen men, so that's like that's really nice, isn't it? So good, isn't he? He's so why isn't why why didn't the English voice guys have that energy? Fucking amazing. Boy, what a bad ass. Alright, receive and bang him out. He's only got 11 men, hasn't he? Just bang him out. Got three mighty blows. <laughs> yeah, he's so fucking excited. <laughs> oh, do you know what we should have done? For the, uh, for the Le Bread Mask promo, we should have just got French Bob. <laughs> French, French Bob sound bites and played them. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? They do sound the same as the English ones. So hopefully, the the French ones have come back too. That'd be amazing. Seventy-two twenty-eight. All right. Thank you, Fault Force. Yeah, it'd be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, man, could you imagine just like shouty German commentators? That would be great. <laughs> I don't care where your money is, but just thanks for uh, thanks for doing it. He pushes him. He pushes him. He two Ds him. He two Ds him. E two D C. He does have pass block. It does seem like elves have mentally scarred him when you look at it. God, he's just randomly got him over there as well. <laughs> right, first action loner block. Wonderful. Just 
Take the dub skull there. Yeah. Woo! Alright. And fail the pick up. No problem. Yeah, he's really, he really doesn't like elves. <laughs> he doesn't need to show you, uh, <laughs> show you where he was touched. He was touched in the elves. <laughs> he's got tackle, tackle, tackle. He's gone tackle first on four characters. Um, he's definitely lost to elves before. Hey, and then he's dropped up skulls. Wonderful. Not a death instantly. Wonderful. Wonderful, non instant death. Can't fucking believe it. Fucking outrageous. Jim the Looker Dog. Unfortunately, all of his guard is pretty hard to deal with, isn't it? Maybe I should have gone guard, not tackle. Herp, derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. Why is the letter icon better than the normal icons? Because Diode just hasn't learned the... Uh... The icon icons. I mean, the icon icons are better, aren't they? Obviously. obviously, the icon icons are better. Right. Blitz him with Borak, and then 2D him, then 2D him, then not even be able to 2D him, then don't even be able to 2D him, and then 2D him. It seems like a big ask. 2D him. Then 2D him. No, I can't do teams of him. Could 1D him. I think I like more getting him here. He must be hiding! Does he stay? And uh, getting this under control then. Touched in the elves. Yeah. All right, and then he can go for the pickup, so he can come in for the assist. That was well worth a reroll. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Right, 1D from him, then a 1D from him. And then a 1D from him. But go for the pickup first. It would be nice to have the ball, wouldn't it? Great removal, the strength up guy. From the rookie warrior. <laughs> Three mighty blow, rookie gets the removal. Classic. The thing is, though, the the picture icons are so much better. Like that's the thing; they're so much better. They're, they're better to look at, and they're easier to learn. So, one to use those. I mean, not not to devalue your work here, Dev, <laughs> but like, 
especially for streaming, you should have best quality graphics. Like I like, I like you know that for Mighty Blow is just better than MB, isn't it? Like everyone knows that's Mighty Blow. Like after they've played for a little bit, and everyone knows that's piling on and stuff. So I, like, I like. This was the bad thing of failing the pickup, wasn't it? Is that he gets a bunch of blocks, but then at least, like one in nining like that would have been horrible on the blocks. In fact, they weren't even two Ds; they were just one Ds. So, but even even if they were two Ds, I think I would have still gone for the pickup after failing on the first turn. So he's had some bad dice, hasn't he? A couple of double skulls. Already done one reroll. Pretty nice. Do you know what I was watching Art and he was saying about what angle you should use to play the game and I didn't know what angle I used and what angle he recommends. I never I never think about what angle I'm at. I probably just leave it in like this for a while, then this for a while, then this for a while. I've never really thought about what angle I have. So I could do D him without block. And then could do to him with block. And then could blitz him with block, which would be nice. The only problem is the old ye old blockless block. Not a problem. I need a knockdown as well on this to be able to do it. Get the knockdown. So I think. Go there to protect the ball. Stand up. And then go for the pickup first and put in a reroll. And now he gets to smash the alleged pommer. <laughs> oh, smash to pieces! Glorious. He hasn't. He hasn't. I think he's forgotten about his Mr. Throw. Yeah, he's not a pommer. He's just. I know he's just planning on. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a tackle bomber. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> He's <laughs> a tackle bomber. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Randall Garrison is. You can imagine, couldn't you, that he goes to like. He goes to his mum's house for dinner and he's like, What the hell are you doing? This is a red serviette. Why wouldn't you have a bloody purple one? Are you mental? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's how I like to think art is on a regular basis. This is any tackle bomber. This is a fucking tackle bomber without mighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's just a literal normal art. That's what I mean. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Everyday art. Pretty funny. <laughs> Instant full ruin dinner. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, only for Blood Bowl purposes, Jelly. Only for Blood Bowl purposes. Right. So we'd like to blitz him, I guess. Or like, care about scoring? Should we care about scoring? Phew. Controversial. Let's care about scoring. Hmm. 
and re-roll the both down. Don't even need to. Stick him in there. I'm really going for this Pommer, man. He's terrifying, isn't he? He's terrifying the Pommer here. Have to, uh, have to target <laughs> the guy that doesn't even have Mighty Blow. Bad thing about moving forwards is he might realise he's got Mr. Throw there. Oh shit. Oh dear, that would have deafened people if I uh, uh, knew it. And what you want me to do? Sneeze up my ass? <laughs> Mr. Throw's controlling the dark squares. <laughs> oh dear. Sneeze into your arm. What the fuck? That's, that's crazy. I'm not giving cover to anyone, you know. I'm just on my own here. <laughs> Playing a little kid's game. Do I dodge out for a 2D? Maybe. Yes, in fact. Um, yeah, it does. It, it's 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 a bit fucked up though because like pass block being quite limiting. Um, in terms of where you can move, make it make it difficult to like actually move your guy properly, especially when you've got a leap. So it's like it's pretty tricky. It's pretty tricky to uh. Pass block. The good thing is, pass block in, uh, well, on the ball, in Blood Bowl 3, you can move them anywhere, so it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why they made it a... Uh... I mean, it's better than making an agility skill, I guess, in terms of who can get it. Yes, in fact, you can only dump off before being hit from a blitz, and you have to declare who you're blitzing when you declare blitzes and stuff. Which, you know, hopefully they're not going to do that in the in the, in the the computer game, because it's fucking pointless in the computer game. But of course, the bunch of idiots in the uh, Blood Bowl 3 Discord were like, We must have declarations, it's so important! No, it fucking isn't, you turds. <laughs> no, it fucking isn't important at all. There absolutely should not be declarations. Right. No, I pretty much do stay out of the Discord. Okay, the, the push there is disappointing. Who got the push? Plim plom push. I don't know if I can still get here. I might not be able to. No, I can't. Ha ha! Lovely jubbly. What happens if this is a skull? And you can knock both these down and hit the ball. So I could go here. It's a 
Kush, then Borat comes out as well. It's a fucking power. Get the fuck on. Needs to go up here, doesn't he? Make a scream with him. And then Borak. Can I... Uh, come in hard over here. Nice. Right, three turns. So I've got to, got to start to get moving now, but... It's quite good that his warriors, uh, his Black Hawk's taken out in a beast. His other warriors, his other Black Hawk's taken out in a beast. So we've got more strength over here to push forward. And he's down two men. But even if he wasn't down two men. Three warriors, uh, three warriors, for fuck's sake. Three Black Hawk's taken out on two beastmen and the warriors. Brilliant, isn't it? And one of his guards. Hopefully Borak's still there to to to, uh, to foul the second half. <laughs> they just don't have a program. No, but it's like it shouldn't. You shouldn't have to declare anything. Like you know, you shouldn't have to declare a pass action in 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 Blood Bowl two or three because it doesn't add anything. It does just doesn't add anything tactically, does it? It genuinely doesn't. Add anything. Like. It's totally irrelevant how you do it. It's just because it's a fucking board game that you have to do it. Borak was incredible, yeah. Borak was incredible um, in originally in the in the original rules in the original third ed. He was fucking incredible because he had leader and he was one sixty. He was one sixty k to to hire permanently on your team. And he had leader. So already, he was like... And rerolls then were 70 for Chaos. So he was literally cheaper than a Chaos Warrior and a reroll. <laughs> and he had plus strength. <laughs> and gave you a reroll anyway. And had plus fucking, you know, plus everything. Uh, the Dirty Player was actually good. Because... Um, because... It was... No, what was the reason? Oh, because of fouling. Because of fouling, so that was... That was really good. Do the 1D here at the end. Should have stood him up first. Silly boy. Okay, so put him there, then he can blitz on his way to screen off. <laughs> Not much of a screen, is it? He's reroll on the 1D here. Don't need it. Glorious. Sorry, DP was good because Mighty Blow and DP combined on fouling. Um, so they combined, and also there was no, uh, there was also no role for. It was Sigurd's injury tables. Just some dude called Sigurd thought of the injury table. So it used to be that like, um, you know how on a 10, on a 10 plus you're all for a cars, it used to be that 10, a modified 10 was a badly hurt, a modified 11 was a seriously injured, and a modified 12 was dead. So his dirty player was plus two, plus two, not plus one. So it was plus two, plus two. And then within Mighty Blow, with Mighty Blow, it was, uh, it was, Plus three, plus three. So on a nine plus, um, Borak would kill whoever he fouled, <laughs> which is pretty insane. <laughs> I 
And yeah, and Pro, yeah, and Claw and RSC, but just uh, specifically Borak was pretty amazing. And you could use rerolls on the fouls as well. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have got the extra block from that warrior, should I? Maybe I should have moved that warrior up. I don't know. That is 16 years ago. I uh, know, it's 26 years ago. <laughs> 26 years ago, Jolly <laughs> <laughs> In fact, third ed, third ed. It was ninety four. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows my age. <laughs> it's not a secret, is it? Oh, God. Fucking loan at Dub Skulls. Guess I should have blocked with him. Has he got a chance now? Okay, he can't touch with him. He can't touch with him. Fucking Borak letting the side down. Oh, he's minus move. I wondered why he wasn't in range. Like, it's crazy, right? Because I, I never count squares, pretty much. Well, very, very rarely count squares. But I just thought he was in range. And then, obviously, he's not because he's minus move. But, like, it's crazy that, like... I thought I was wrong there. I just thought he was in range. I thought he was in range. You are, yeah. You're a tiny little baby. Of course. Like literally, when I find out some, when I find out someone's in, born in '97, I'm like, what? They're five years old. <laughs> and like, you gotta realize, think and realize that actually no. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not actually five years old. It's actually 2020. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, exactly, Fermi. Yeah, oh, the 90s weren't 10 years ago. It's fucking crazy. 2021, in fact, yeah. And not for long, but you know. <laughs> in terms of Blood Bowl, it was, it was 26 years ago. It wasn't 27 years ago because it came out in the summer, didn't it? <laughs> Is he blitzing? No, he's already done his blitz. Good. No terrifying blitz from Mr. Thrall. Yeah, it's insane, isn't it? It's insane that, like, someone born in 2000 is, like, a grown-up. Like, what the hell? It doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> yep, it does, Jolly oh, yeah. Yeah, it was literally... I remember when I went to the Games Workshop. Well, it wasn't Games Workshop, it was a local shop. It's called Chips, because they have mostly computer games. And uh, I remember I remember buying... I, I bought... You know, you know what I bought? Well, I got it because of uh, because of Hero Quest is why I started, and they had the uh, the Mighty Fortress. I don't think I bought it. Oh God. Okay. I don't think I bought the Mighty Fortress, but they had the Mighty Fortress, and I was like, holy shit, this looks awesome. Fucking <laughs> Mr. Throw. Yeah, Hero Quest is what I got, why I got it. anyway. In Hero Quest, they had a layer, they had like a little uh, a little leaflet. That had like how to pick, like you know how to paint your guys and stuff, and uh, you know shit about Games Workshop. And I saw the painted models, and I was like, God, these were amazing. And that's why. That's why I got into Games Workshop shit. case of a riot, I guess is more likely than a rock. It's not like there's an amazing player, I guess Block Mighty's amazing. Alright then. That'll do, that'll do, pig.
Good. Tackle isn't on every square. What I mean. Right, so this is great, isn't it? Strength 4 stayed out. Actual look this game so far. Actual look. And he's only got 11 men as well, so there's a chance that he starts the second half with less than 11. He played that with, with 10 at max anyway, because Mr. Throw just fucked off over here and never took part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, Randall Calvisian, yeah, brilliant, wasn't it? <laughs> That's amazing how they're going solid to it. <laughs> yeah, the special play cards in 94 were insane, yeah. They were really insane. Yeah, it's snowing. It's been snowing all day. <laughs> Busy chatting shit. Never mind. Yeah, I wish I hadn't thrown away my. I just threw away a hero quest. Fucking very sad about that. An advanced hero quest, I just threw them both away. You go through phases, don't you, where you when you when you grow up a bit and uh, and discover girls and beer and stuff. So I like pretty much just threw threw them away. And now I'd quite like to have them back. <laughs> it does feel like that, yeah, Muppet, yeah. Yeah, Barbarian, Elf, Dwarf, yeah. It was great, wasn't it? And the Wizard as well, wasn't it? There was four. There was a Wizard as well. And like, I won't need it again. Like, it's not like if I had it, I would play it or anything. But it would just be nice to have it still. <laughs> <laughs> just to order it. But the good thing is, with the internet, you can just see a picture of it, and that's good enough, isn't it, really? Just have a look and, and then go, oh, yeah. Like, I, I downloaded uh, someone made, you know, like a fucking, I mean, I didn't pirate this. Someone else pirated it, and I looked at it online. Uh, you know, the Advanced Hero Quest rulebook and stuff, so I had a look at that, and it, it was good to just look at that and be like, oh, yeah, that's, that, that was the rules, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was what the game was like, and you, you know you can just Google Hero Quest and look at the look at the board and look at the models and be like, yeah, these look good. So you don't need to have a physical copy, do you? Really? It's not like uh, <laughs> the thing is, Muppet. You don't. <laughs> well, you shouldn't stick your dick into a uh, Hero Quest. So it's <laughs> slightly different. <laughs> 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 um, you could be an elitist prick. I mean, you know, I would still like it, but then I, I got I got some things, you know. Um, I got some things. What did I get? I got like you know, fucking those games that we used to play. What were they? Like Man of War and stuff. I got Man of War, and and it was just kind of pointless, really. I thought I'm not going to play with anybody. And I, I set it all up, and we had a game. And honestly, like, I did, I did play my friend. Um, I wasn't just playing with myself. I did play my friend, and we had uh, pretty much like nothing. We had like an eight by four table, and we had have a f we had to play on a four by four table, and then uh, have a four by four table holding all of the shit, because you know there's all the uh, all the stuff like. Um, Who's like all the stat sheets and everything? Like it's pretty crazy. It's all the. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Is uh, Man of War? It's like loads of kind of data sheets with the, with the stats of everything and the damage. And it's like the bookkeeping of it is insane. Like you literally need a four x four table for the bookkeeping and a four x four table to play on. Um, I don't know, they just put him, leave him off. I don't know, he only gets hit once and then he's back, isn't he? Exactly, Randall Collison, it really is a major flaw. <laughs> so, like, it was fucking bollocks, you know, because, like, it is, it is a pain in the ass having, needing to have a friend, isn't it? Because, you know, you can if you want to play Blood Bowl, you can just play it on the computer, it's brilliant, and you don't. But, you know, the, the you having a friend that then needs to get time to play and then...
time to set it up and fucking travel, you know, or you travel there or whatever. Like, it's so much bullshit, isn't it, to, like, actually do something in real life. Ugh. I never played it, you know, Steve Motti, and uh, one of my buddies, it was, like, his favourite game, and he thought it was Games Workshop's best game, and he fucking loved it. Now, I think maybe the reason that he loved it so much was the fact that Table Leg Wanger and I never played it. So he was therefore the best in Darlington. However, he may not have enjoyed it as much if Wanger and I played, because then he would have been the third best in Darlington. <laughs> and lost most of the games he played, because mostly he'd be playing me and Wanger and getting beat. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, that's the thing, and it? it's all a fucking pain in the ass getting to uh, getting to play things and like having to play them in real life and getting it organised and all the travel and the time. It's it's all a pain in the ass. Like literally, we all live in Darwin. We all live like I mean, in in America, it'd be insane because like there's there was four of us in the league and we all play. We all like lived within like probably fucking four square miles of each other. You know, like it's fucking insane. But. It's st we still just played it on Fumble because it was easier to play on Fumble. <laughs> we, we, did, we did a league between ourselves and we just played on Fumble because it was e literally easier to play on Fumble than piss around. Doing that. Right, does he come around here? Yes, he does. And then on a power god, this is for 2D there. But not It's disappointing. Up, up, base, base, base. Got more men. Let's go, meet slabs. Hope so. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the rig. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Just try and brute force this one. Like, he's still got three guards, so, like, he's still got some good players. And this might be a bit of a mistake. Because this is this is some blocks back, isn't it? But then then it's strength four blocks back against him and strength five, so there might be losses in the battle, but hopefully win the war by doing this. Some poor dice for him. You love to see it. Now he's got to protect the ball somehow as well, hasn't he? Or not. <laughs> or he could just not defend the ball at all. I guess that's also an option. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, that's true. Oh man, one, one this, you... Okay, well now, now the ball is still not very protected, but at least it's a little bit protected. By virtue of the classic uphill block. The old GFI double uphill. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that first action, should I? But there you go, I did it. Right, so it's, it's hard to 2D this. No, it's not. It's easier to 2D this. <laughs> it should have been hard to 2D this. <laughs> um, we can chain him forward to there. 
and then block again. Ah, it's hard to 2D at the second time. Okay, yeah, it's hard to 2D at the second time. We rock hard today, and so was my cock. I could chain him out to here. It doesn't really do anything, but I mean, might as well, I guess. Follow for this 2D. GFI is real. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just done him up. I'm a dumbass. Or could have stood him up as well. He should stand up as well. So GFI to hit the ball. He just needs to come back, I guess. As does he. Outrageous. Never look, he gets his arm broken too. Who could have foreseen two dice on the ball in that situation? Yeah, the illegal procedure. I mean, if people are dicks, right, or locking, that, that's the people you're playing with being dicks. Um. It was a great rule. The legal procedure was a great rule. It was literally a great rule. Um, once you can play. <laughs> but I mean, if people... If that's a problem with the people. If, if they're not letting someone who's new... You know, any leeway on it. That's just them being a set of twats. That was an alright scatter, wasn't it? Yeah. That's them being dicks. Because, but what happens without the illegal procedure is you get like the thing that happened with like the 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 massive argument at the World Cup and stuff, um, when you know people didn't know which turn it was and stuff. Now, if there's a legal procedure, everybody always knows what turn it is. And when you're playing somebody, they've got to use their their mental energy to know which turn it is. Not just one of you. It's so fucking. It's so annoying playing somebody in tabletop in the NAF who's like good at Blood Bowl, and then you're the you have to think about what turn it is, and they never have to think about it. Whereas at least with the legal procedure, you've both got to think about it. I played somebody. I played somebody, and I said, uh, I really hate that you. You know that you've got to. You had to both agree to use the illegal procedure rule, and he agreed with me. And it was the best game. It was literally the best game because he was the only one of like the six games that I played that actually moved his fucking turn marker every time. It was absolute bullshit. Fuck it, like he was literally the only one who did it. I fucking hate not having it, <laughs> but. Similarly, it's fucking stupid to have it against, you know, to enforce it against a new player is ridiculous, isn't it? But they're, they're just literally tryhards and everything. All this tryhard, you know. Like, I've heard tryhard and I think it's kind of stupid in a lot of contexts. But that is pathetic, isn't it? Doing it to, to try and beat new players by tripping them up is, is just pathetic. I mean, it's just being a shithead. Don't, don't fuck it up again, Borak. You dickhead. Gotta re-roll this, if it's a one in nine, or just re-roll the pickup. I guess re-roll the pickup is better. Go for another warrior score. This this was a bad one to go for the warrior pickup, I guess, in terms of the not having the protection in case the pickup fail. But um, on the other hand, I just wanted to score on the warrior, didn't I? He's 
probably going to blitz him and go in front. Okay, not there. Now I can accept this one in nine. Well, I don't have, I don't have any choice <laughs> about accepting the one in nine, but it wouldn't have been terrible. He can just get side -handed. Borak has been terrible. Yeah, it's been a prick, but you know, they're the kind of... The, the, I think that's what people mean when they say try hard, you know? Like, I think that's what... Like, cause trying hard, like, it never made sense to me that you would call somebody a try hard, because, like, of course I'm going to try hard. Duh. Are you playing a game? I want to win the game. Like, I want to play it properly. Not even winning. I just want to try to win it. Like, I just want to play it properly, because otherwise, what's the point in playing it? What's the point in playing poker and then just playing it like snap? There's no point, is there? You might as well just play snap there. So yeah, I'm going to play properly. Um, though funnily enough, I don't try hard at poker when it's not for money. <laughs> when it's not for money, I just play snap. Um, but you know, like I think that's what they mean. I think when they say try hard, I think that's what they mean. You know? Yeah, exactly, Jalil. Yeah. But I think, like, I think that is what they mean. Because <laughs> oh, they're dicks, I guess. <laughs> Timmy, I know that's what I always say as well. So I, I, so I just play snap, you know. Like I never have. Like, what's the fucking point? It's not poker, so I just it's stupid. It's just a pointless waste of time. But I do have friends who, who, for some reason, think that that's in any way acceptable to play poker for not not for money. <laughs> well, allegedly play poker, play a game that represents poker, that has a passing resemblance to poker, not for money. Which is fucking daft, isn't it? I could serve him somehow. How do I do that? One dice him first. Get the push. And two dice him. And it's risky, but it's glorious. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Throw! Oh, you useless dickhead, Mr. Throw. Honestly, he can't do anything right, can he? <laughs> Fucking Mr. Throw. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, what a penis. He can't even fucking get knocked over properly. <laughs> what an absolute shitter. Right, I don't like that he can come round the side here, but I mean, I'm in strength 4 anyway, right? If I go here, then um, he can 2D the guard, then he can 2D him, then. so yeah, it's, it's worth going. Here. Shame about the North Surf. Oh, wow. Well, okay, that's all right then. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. You could probably go here now, and then there's no... I mean, what is this? A 2D and then a 4-3 for an uphill. Well, then it's a 6 plus dodge in for a surf. That's probably... It's probably easier to leave him this one. But I could uphill him for a push. If I'm here. Glorious. Good. Oh, 
poke chips. No. <laughs> Is this a true story here, no? That's pretty funny. Oh, I really want to blitz with, with Borak again. Yeah, he is good. I guess I just stand him, actually. So he just stands here and blitz with him. Then that's protected from shenanigans, isn't it? No surf, no surfy McSurfertons there. You could just go in here, and this one D to get the other guy around, or take the boat down. I've got my e and you don't. C'est de la brutalité à l'état pur. On peut toujours compter sur les orques noirs pour assurer le spectacle des Wow, that's incredible, Edith. Comment tu dis Il just lost on time, Kaspara. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh. Wait, guard only works on your active turn? That's not true, is it? That's not. That's not a real thing, is it, Squirrel? Because defensive is a skill, so it still it still works. Or is it being misdone terribly? I really hope it doesn't happen. You've got to have the timer in, in a multi, like an online multiplayer game. I mean, you've just got to. You've just got to. Hey, he top scope. I've had some luck when, for once, I've had some luck when your opponent's out of rerolls, innit? Normally, they, they run out of rerolls and everything they do fucking works. This has been, this has been crazy. When opponents have run out of rerolls, they've actually failed things. It's been absolutely glorious. A glorious day. Is what it's been. Just lost on time to spell. That's pretty fun. <laughs> mighty blow's gone. Nice to get rid of the mighty blow, isn't it? Like I know it doesn't mean that. It, I know it doesn't mean that he <laughs> can't do cars anymore. <laughs> but it's. Pretty much all you can do, isn't it, to stop cars, base? Oh shit, that was a GFI. It made me go the wrong way. One, two, three, four, five, six. It just literally made me go the wrong way and do a GFI for not. That was one where I didn't think of it. You know, normally, you know, it, it, they can include a dodge, can't they, in the, in the auto pathing? So sometimes you should, you should, but I would have never checked that because it's in the open and it was just terrible. Well done, cyanide. Reroll this block, this dodge even. Can't speak English. Give up the block, give up the block's fine. Mm. And score early next turn anyway if he puts pressure on. 11% are getting knocked over instead of 55, it's gotta be good, hasn't it? 
Yeah, especially on tabletop at tournaments. You've got to have time on tournaments and tabletop. But they don't, and it's fucking stupid that they don't. But they should. That's what pissed me off with 40k, that's why I stopped playing 40k. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine not having it in the rules and then, you know, you playing with your friends and then not not thinking about the time is fine. Like, you know, you can play your friend at chess, can't you, and not, not care about the time and not have a chess clock. Like, you don't need chess clocks written into the rules of chess in, like, a normal fucking thing. Do you? Uh, option two, Frosty. It's who's voted for option one or option two. Sort of thing. Pink or blue, depending. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Jelly Old is fucking bollocks, isn't it? Why does that god have tackle? Because the nerds told me to. Pedro. Not my fault. I'd have taken Mighty Blow. But the fucking nerds said, Oh, take tackle! <laughs> no, it's alright, isn't it? It's alright to... Uh... It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Nice. Fucking nerds. <laughs> Do I stand him up there and then push him into there and then have him? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. Because it's still on like the taste. Oh, I could have put it in the other way. Blitz, dodge away, and then surf him. Why not? Oh, I, just, I was just tricking Mithil to, uh, to get the power safe. Smart. Smart. Well, if that's a possibility, yeah, Harlequin. I mean, if that's a possibility, then I would. But you just, you, when I played 40k tournaments, you couldn't do that. And when I played, uh, what's it called, Blood Bowl, you couldn't do that. So, there you go. I brought my clock, and uh, I was told off by the tournament organiser for bringing my own clock. So, there you go. Borak foul. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't get to do the Borak foul. <laughs> Smack his face. I wish I could have done. You can clock yourself. Fuck's sake. Yeah, you just end up with like the whole kind of rebel thing, don't you? Of like, who they they just decide with who they want and all that kind of shit. I got three assists here. Maybe I'm gonna move them one at a time to find out rather than counting squares. I hope it works. Yes, it worked out. <laughs> Get Le Pau. Sadly, no foul from Borak. I should have fouled some point in the second half, maybe. Like, not that it would have mattered. Not that it was necessary, I would have mattered. But hey. Glorious uh, warrior touchdown at the end. Wonderful. Squire L dude. God, the green screen's getting it's, it's getting too dark now, isn't it? Before it was too light, now it's getting too dark. Glorious. Okay. <laughs> Borat gets the MVP. 
what a fucking shitter he was as well. <laughs> he was pathetic. But yeah, no, he's strength five. He, he got in the way and stuff, did things, didn't he? That was seemed horrible dice for the opponent, to be honest. Let's have a check. 42, 42, 30. Yep, terrible block dice. 39, 41, 31. So actually, bad block dice as well, to be fair. 39, 41, 31, 32. So yeah, bad block dice. Um, pickups weren't great. Dodges were terrible. <laughs> Um, his armor wasn't good, but I guess I had more mighty blow. So, wake ups were terrible. So, that's some good luck there. Uh, Borak has block, Dimmy. And block is good. And he's armor 9 as well. Ooh, movement! Very good. Ooh, do you know what? He could go mighty blow. One of them could go mighty blow first, actually. One of them could go Mighty Blow first. We'll see. One might go Mighty Blow first. The eight could go Mighty Blow. And then try to fast track him to Claw Pom. Don't know, think about it. But, glorious win. Glorious run. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.